everybody. I'm Lisa Campos, Community Affairs Director with your Positively Tampa Bay. Today we are showcasing Casey's Place. This animal sanctuary in Brooksville is an all-volunteer organization that started out providing homes for injured and abandoned animals, but their role has expanded with a slowdown in the economy. They're now an important resource for local families at risk of losing their horses and their farm animals because of unemployment and foreclosure. Joining us with more is Deborah McPherson, who is the executive director of Casey's Place. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having me, Lizette. Tell us about Casey's Place, the sanctuary. What does it look like? How big is it? How many animals well, are there? Well, it's 20 acres. Uh, we have three barns. Um, I have a home on the property. Um, it's an uh, all-volunteer 501c3 nonprofit, as you mentioned, and uh -huh. the number of animals that we have completely depends on how donations and volunteers are going. We can take, we focus primarily on horses, rescue, rehabilitation, and adoption of horses. That we pretty much limit to 10 horses at a time mm -hmm. because of the grass. You all started in 2005? Roughly, yeah. And how many animals, how many horses would you say you've, you've taken in or been moms and dads to? We have been, well, with our expanded position of helping in the community, I'm going to say that we've probably impacted the lives of over 50 horses in those years. Well, let's talk, you say expanded role. I mean, I know it's been a difficult one with the, the, yeah. the recession. A lot of families were turning to you for information on how do I get my horse in a home yes. that, where they can afford to pay the bills because they've lost their their, their It home, was very unforeseen job. on my part, and it happened about the time you started reading about people waking up and finding an extra horse in their pasture that left there overnight. It was once the recession got rolling and the economy in Brooksville really got hit in Hernando County, there was a lot of people that had wonderful horses, family member, companion animals that did not need our rehabilitation services. They needed a new home and fast due to the owners losing their jobs, moving out of state farm foreclosures and so forth. So what we did was network with other rescues and animal groups and horse clubs and et cetera around the state of Florida and advertise these horses to them as available. But at the same time, we counseled the owners with, and provided them with generic contracts and taught them how to uh, have a solid adoption process so they mm -hmm. know that their horse would be placed in a forever loving home. We've got some great video of, of the farm. It's beautiful. And one of the horses in the video is called Cupid. Mm -hmm. You said that Cupid uh, came to the farm uh, at Christmas time Cupid, a couple of years Vixen ago. Cupid, Vixen, and Blitzen, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and is now in the loving home that it, th with a gentleman by the name of Paul. Yes, the, the two connected uh, immediately. You could just see it. Uh, Paul could not wait to take Cupid home. Cupid couldn't wait to get out of there and go home. Mostly the horses love it at Casey's, but these two. And the best part of the story is we kept checking on Paul. And as we do, we do follow-ups with all of our adoptions. And one day he said, I love that horse. He's only bucked me off about 13 times. <laughs> <laughs> How so can the community help, Deborah? How can the community help? We desperately need monetary donations and volunteer help. Volunteer help at the farm uh, with fundraising, with grant writing. I will tell you right now, we're down to four horses. We don't have the funds or the help to take in anymore. So we really need the public support for us to be able to continue doing the work that we do. Thank you for coming in. We have the best viewers in the world, and I'm sure that folks with an interest and a passion for animals will certainly answer the call. Here's the information. Right. Here's the website for Casey's Place. For more information, for details, it's caseys-place.org, or you can call 352-797-9963. Thanks for watching, everybody.